guys, my name is Swifters, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys some gameplay of me playing some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for the very first time on the PlayStation 4. Now this is probably the first time that I've actually ever played Call of Duty on the PlayStation 4. I don't even think that I played it on the PlayStation 3. Now I have played the PlayStation 4 in the past and the only time that I've actually done it uh, was in the past couple of days. Uh, I got the PlayStation 4 not too long ago and uh, with that I got the Last of Us bundle so I was able to play the Last of Us for a little bit but like I said this is my first time ever playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on the PlayStation 4. Now this is my first ever online game, so I started this game at level 1 and I actually ended up uh, ranking up to level 7. This is just some standard team deathmatch on green band and uh, I, I ranked up to level 7 by the end of the game using the BAL 27. Uh, obviously uh, one of the one of the best guns in the game uh, no upgrades on it just the basic BAL with uh, some of the perks and uh, again I'm level one I used everything that I could to create my class and uh, here is just some gameplay of me playing for the very first time um, I have to say that I did play one mission of the campaign just to kind of get used to the PlayStation 4 controllers uh, before I actually uh, divulged into an online game of, of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare uh, but as most of you guys know I am a, pre I'm a predominantly Xbox user I play on the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. Uh, however, I recently purchased myself a PlayStation 4 uh, with the announcement that uh, Sony uh, now has an exclusive partnership with Activision in regards to DLC content for Black Ops 3. So that's kind of the main reason why I bought myself a PlayStation 4 was because of this contract and the DLC content that will be coming out on the PlayStation 4 earlier than the Xbox One, and I know that it may seem a little bit silly to some of you guys that uh, I would drop so much money uh, on a video game console because of that. Uh, however, I actually recently uploaded a video of me discussing uh, me, you know, buying this PlayStation 4 and my, my thought process behind that. Uh, so for those of you who would like to check out that video for yourself, I will have a link to it down in the description below. Now, I was honestly surprised at how well I did for my first ever time playing Advanced Warfare on the PlayStation 4. I got 33 kills, 9 deaths, and about 5 assists, so that's over a 3.0 KD, and uh, considering that this is my very first time, that's not bad at all, and I do know that uh, the game kind of senses that I, I'm a first time player, and uh, I, I don't really have a high KD, so that's why it paired me with players who uh, maybe weren't as... Uh, Skilled as other players, but again, switching over for the X from the Xbox One to the PlayStation 4 uh, w wasn't as bad as I thought that it was going to be. The only thing that was super difficult for me to kind of get used to was as soon as I got a kill streak, um, I always kind of reached down under the analog stick to hit that uh, the, the D-pad in order for me to activate that kill streak. But obviously, um, on the PlayStation 4 controller, that D-pad is a little bit up, uh, up and diagonally to the left. Uh, of that left joystick so that was the only thing that was a little bit difficult for me to kind of get used to but for the most part it was a pretty easy transition um, to come from the Xbox One to the PlayStation 4 and uh, kind of get into a game of advanced warfare that requires you to be very attentive to what's going on in the game and uh, really requires some uh, somewhat skilled hand-eye coordination. Now, overall, I was pretty satisfied with my level of play on the PlayStation 4 for the very first time, and I will definitely be playing more Advanced Warfare in the near future uh, on the PlayStation 4. That's not to say that I'm completely done playing on the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, and uh, if you guys watched my recent video discussing why I bought a PlayStation 4, you would know that I purchased it in order to get acclimated to playing Call of Duty um, on, on the PlayStation 4, uh, given uh, that exclusive contract with Sony, like I said previously. Uh, but but again, you know, I was pretty satisfied with uh, my level of play. Um, definitely will be playing PlayStation 4 more often. I just need some friends to play with. Um, so hopefully I will be seeing some of you guys playing uh, Advanced Warfare in a game. And uh, maybe we can play sometime together as well. And I'm actually trying to convince uh, some of my friends in real life to purchase themselves a, a PlayStation 4. As opposed to getting the Xbox One. Because a lot of my friends have the previous generation console. They all have the Xbox 360. And uh, they are looking to upgrade to uh, either the Xbox One or, or the PlayStation 4. So I'm uh, trying my best to... Uh, kind of guide them to the PlayStation 4, but that's besides the point. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, 33 kills, 9 deaths, not too bad for my very first time playing Advanced Warfare. Be sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe so you guys never miss a future video uploaded here on my channel. But I'll catch you guys in the next video, and until next time guys, this has been Swifters, I'm out. Peace.